my name is Jessica Ray. Welcome back to my Sunless Ray YouTube channel where I share all of my favorite self tanning tips and tricks that I've learned over the years of being a professional spray tan artist. Today I'm going to go over why using a self tan mitt is so important. So I've been on TikTok and I've been seeing videos of other women using just gloves to apply a self tan mousse. And I want to demonstrate kind of what they do before I even get into anything else. So they get gloves just like this. These are actually the gloves that I use when I'm spray tanning my clients. They get gloves just like this. And then they'll get a self tan mousse. This is the Sunless Ray one. Always shake up a self tanner before using it. But this is what they're gonna, you can see, I also was messing with my self tanner for photos yesterday. So this arm's way tanner than this arm. But So what they do is they get the self tan mousse just like that. And then they rub it. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so that you can see. So they'll rub it just like this, and they usually use a little bit more. And I want you to really see like how hard that is to rub it. Do you see how much product that is on my arm? And look how long it's gonna take to blend in. I'm still blending. If I was using a self tan mitt, this would already be done still blending okay so it's on there but it took a really long time and if you don't do this application perfectly you're gonna have a botched tan it is so easy to have a bad self tan when you're using gloves versus using a mitt so I really do not recommend using gloves you may think well I'm getting more use of the product that can be true, but you're also gonna be a lot stickier. Like I'm like super wet right now. It's just not the way a self tan product is meant to be created. So I don't like using this. I don't suggest using it. Just way too much room for error and there's really no need for it. Another way that I've seen it done is no gloves. So <laughs> they'll just use their hand. And this is worse than using gloves because you are risking your hand. So your hand gets tan super fast. I can put this on right now and if I don't wash it off immediately, my hand's gonna be tan. So I really do not recommend using just your hand to apply mousse, funky looking hands, and it's, just, it's not gonna be cute and it can stain your hands. Now we can talk about the correct way to self tan, which is with a mitt and a mousse. The most simple way, the most easy way, the best way to self tan is just with the mitt and with your self tan mousse. So just apply it just like that. I'm not gonna do like a full body or anything like that, but just like look how easy this is to apply. That's literally it. And I'm dry. Nothing is getting on my hands. This honestly still feels sticky. It is not working as good as this. So please stick with your self tan mitt. Um, as someone who created their own self tan mousse, I don't recommend using a glove. I can't guarantee the results. I can't guarantee a streak free tan if you're using something that's not recommended with a product. So if you want a flawless looking self tan, always use an applicator mitt. I hope you loved this sunless tanning tip. I share all my new tips and tricks on Tuesdays and Thursdays on this YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below with your favorite self tanning questions so I could answer them in the next videos. You can follow me on Instagram at JessRayBuck or at SunlessRay, and my website is sunlessray.com.